Unify Pro 32 Nano VTX. We got a question here from MCN Pickle about how to set up the Unify Pro 32 Nano VTX. And MCN Pickle, uh, you know, with any, the beautiful thing is that most VTXs wire up exactly the same way. In fact, what let's do is let's just do a little wiring diagram here. Ooh, that's a hot way to start a live stream, Bardwell, with a wiring diagram. Really? Ooh, I mean, you could you could uh, you could do almost anything. You could do high retention, high retention content that's going to really suck. But ooh, people showed up for the live stream. What's he going to do? Am I going to stick around or am I going to go fly today? Ooh, he's doing a wiring diagram for a video transmitter. Well, I can't miss that, can I? <laughs> well, you better not, because you never know. You'll never believe. How Bardwell wires up a TBS Unify. You'll be, I was shocked. JBF7. I was shocked by how Bardwell wires up a Unify. You know what? <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm going to make a wiring diagram. It's probably right here on the gosh dang website. So we got to start with how to wire it up. And I'm betting that they actually use a Unify. Well, yeah, they probably use an iFlight VTX now that I think about it. Can we... Where's the VTXs? Where's the VTXs, you dork? What? Uh, there's... Oh, here we go. VTX. So, here's the wiring diagram for my flight controller. You could use any flight controller. It's, it's all pretty much the same. What you're going to need is you're going to need a power source. Now, for, the, for this VTX, the power is 7 to 36 volts. You're going to need ground. You're going to need a wire for smart audio, and then you're going to need the video connection. So if we go over to the, the uh, Unify Nano, we've got 3 to 13 volts in. So it's made pretty much made to be powered from 5 volts, although it could be powered from uh, 9 or 12 volts. Um, we've got ground, we've got video, and we've got smart audio. And that's going to wire to your flight controller. Now, I wish that they would show, I wish that they would show the actual pads instead of the plug, which is more universal. So let's get this flight controller. Let's pull this flight controller up. So we need down here, the first thing we're gonna wanna do on the flight controller is look for the video pad, which is where the VTX video output is. Uh, and on this flight controller, that is VO right here. Sometimes it'll be labeled video, sometimes VTX. You're going to need to look at the manual for your flight controller to figure that out. Um, and so that's where the video wire is going to go. On your... That's where the video wire is going to go. And then we need power. And we can choose 5 volts or VTX 9 volts on this flight controller. We want to be sure it's in the rated range for the video transmitter, which is 3 to 13 volts. So since it says it's rated for 13 volts, I probably would use VTX 9 volts. Uh, again, referencing the manual of the flight controller, the difference is that the VTX 9V pad can be switched on and off using an aux mode. They call that the pit switch or the real pit function. And it lets you turn your video transmitter off if you're at a race or something and you don't want to hit other people with your video. You could also just use five volts if you wanted to keep it simple. So that's where the power wire is going to go. And then we've got the signal, which is for smart audio or crossfire. And that's going to go to any UART TX. Smart audio goes to a UART TX. So on this flight controller, I'll probably use T5 because it's just right here. It's, it's very close. And that's how you would wire it up. Okay. The, uh, the next thing you would need to do is you would need to set that up in Betaflight. Oh yeah, we're going we're going through the whole thing. We're talking about setting up a Unify Pro 32 Nano. So we're going to go into our flight controller. We're going to go to the ports tab. We used T5 for smart audio. So we're going to go to UART5. We're going to go all the way to the peripherals column. Can't see it because my head's in the way. We're going to choose TBS smart audio as the VTX type. And we're going to hit save. And we're going to go to the presets tab next. And we're going to choose the category VTX. And we're going to look for Unify. 
And we want the Pro 32 Nano. That's the one we've got, right? Pro 32 Nano? Fine. We're going to hit Pro 32 Nano. We're going to pick, agree, and save and reboot. Now our VTX table is loaded up. We're going to go to the video transmitter tab. We're just going to double check that everything looks, you know, uh, nor I don't know what it's supposed to look like, right? Um, <clears throat> and then what we're going to do, and we can't do this because this is just a flight controller that's I mean, plugged in on the desk as an example. We would plug in the quadcopter and the video transmitter would power up and we would want to see device ready, yes, right here. And that confirms that it, the flight controller is talking to the VTX. That doesn't always update immediately. You might have to click away and come back to the tab to get it to update. Once you see device ready, yes, they're talking, and you should be able to change the band. For example, you probably want race band and channel and output power using this by just changing these and hitting save in the lower right, which you can't see because I'm in the way. There it is. Right down there. Right down. Right down. Right down there. Yeah. There you go. And that's how you would set that up. That's it.